Hi, children. It's Pastor Lydia. How are you this week? Well, you know, we are coming up to Thanksgiving. And I don't know what you'll be doing with your families, but we're going to be having probably a meal at home, just me and my husband and Ali and Ryan will just have um, a meal ourselves. And we're not going to see the grandparents because of the coronavirus. But Thanksgiving made me think about what Bible stories we have that talk about giving thanks. And there's a great Bible story that I'm going to share with you today. And it's about 10 people who had a skin disease. And because they had a disease and no one could cure it, everyone was scared of them and wanted them just to go away. But they went to Jesus. And Jesus' friends were also scared of them. And they were afraid that they would catch the skin disease. But Jesus wasn't scared of them. He just told them, go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they went away, they were healed. Jesus healed 10 people. But guess what? They didn't all come back and say thank you to him. Only one of them said thank you. So let's watch the video and then we'll talk some more about the story. Oh, 
I wonder how those 10 people felt when they were told they had to leave town because they had a skin disease. I wonder how it felt to them when they got to Jesus and he did not back away from them, but they were welcome with him. And how did it feel when they were going back home and they realized they were healed? Have you ever had times when you were sick or you needed help and you reached out for help and maybe your family helped you? But maybe there's been times when you reached out in prayer for Jesus to help you. And you know that Jesus is always there with you and wanting to hear what's happening in your life. And he wants to know about it when you are scared about something or you need his help, it's always okay for you to pray and reach out to Jesus. So let's read our Bible storybook. And my doggie is here as well. She's been a bit woofy in the background. But let's read from our Bible book. It's called The Thankful One. With spots of red from head to toe, Blotchy and swollen, and painfully so. Ten lepers were cast out with no place to go. Even the temple priests asked them to leave. So these ten departed, heads hanging in grief. But what happened next, you might not believe. One day when Jesus was coming to town, ten of these outcasts were sitting around. Each of their faces was wearing a frown. But then they saw Jesus approaching their street. Their eyes brightened up and they leapt to their feet. Now that is a person we all need to meet. They ran closer to him but not all the way. Hey, Jesus, it's so good to see you today. We're tired of hearing, Ew, just go away. Jesus, have mercy. Cure this disease. The ten men cried out and began to beg, Please. But Jesus just said, Show yourself to the priests. We'll give it a try. The ten walked away, 
But one of them stopped in his tracks and said, Hey, our skin, it is healed. Hip, hip, hooray. Nine of them ran on ahead to the priests, but one man hung back in his disbelief. He threw himself down at Jesus' feet. Thank you, oh, thank you. You've made us new men. Jesus looked at the one and asked, Were there not ten? Your faith is the reason you're healthy again. So this man not only trusted Jesus to help him, but he came back and he said, Jesus, thank you so much for helping me be well again. So maybe there's some things that you can be thankful for too, and you can say thank you, whether it's Jesus who's done something to help you, or someone in your family or friends. What are some ways that you can say thank you to the people in your life? Let's say a prayer. Dear Jesus, Thank you for loving me. Help me love you too. Help me say thank you to you and the people in my life that have blessed me. Whoa. That is Sierra. Sierra here. Let me show you. There she is. The air has been all woofy. Mm. You see someone outside. Okay. Have a good Thanksgiving and be safe. And we will see you. I'll check in with you again next week with another Bible story. Okay. Love you and miss you. Bye-bye.